back of the car around like he's spinning out right here in this shot. And then, you know, don't know why he was sideways, having a mechanical issue, tired out, don't know. And then got turned to the right and head on into the wall. <laughs> And the caution oh, is man. out. Jordan Anderson. We talked about Jordan being in the field, and, and there is. Oh, man. Get that thing stopped. And that's a big oh, hit. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That was. He, he didn't know where he was. Yes. He couldn't see couldn't where see. he was, and he knew he had to get out. So lucky that he was able to get above. The wall and out that door. Holy cow, that was dramatic. He's on the ground. Sure, struggling to catch his breath. And you'd think that, that Kurt could go as... Oh, oh hang on to it. Hard, hard, hard into the wall. Wow. That was a hard hit for that right rear quarter panel. And you see the damage. That was coming to the green flag. And this is going to... It's a ton of speed. He chose to run the bottom, and a lot of drivers have been up in that resin in that second groove, and that was a interesting angle that he hit the wall, backing into it. Big, big hit. side wall for Hamlin, a bounce off the outside wall for Logano, and it ends in a shower of sparks. I am not surprised. I, I was hoping that wouldn't happen, but I'm not surprised. Joey gets loose on the bottom, watch his car, gets loose, walks up the hill, they make contact, then they really get together, and that's when the 22 went in the wall, and the 11 hit that inside wall hard. Watch, his, that watch his car, watch the back of the car. Ooh, I mean, the whole car just came up off the ground. And I don't see any safer barrier in that area right there. I don't either, Larry. But, Daryl, I agree with you. That's not over-aggression. That's not payback. That's two drivers racing hard for the win and refusing to lose. I'd fire both of them if they didn't do that. I'm a little, I am a little concerned for Denny because that was an incredibly hard hit. So that's Denny Hamlin being attended to at the scene. Really hard to tell. I mean, it looked like this 11 was slow getting in the corner. Looked like he tried to get up there. I thought maybe the 55 got a little bit loose getting there, and Jimmy was trying to maybe avoid that somehow. Okay. 11 and 55 there. Yeah. Tire down on the 11 right front, maybe after that contact. Definitely a stack up. Oh man, there's a lot of good cars that pulling up here. This won't be fun. Clear, clear, clear the nine. Keep rolling here. Yeah. 
it out. And a huge wreck to end this race. Matt Kenseth is going to get it. Came to the finish line. He's picking up Jimmy Johnson, who just climbed from his destroyed race car. Yeah, Junior just trying to complete the last lap. He came off pit road, crossed the line, and he saw Jimmy standing there. If that left rear tire doesn't come apart, yeah. not going to be good on Jimmy. Well, he'd be the first to know, but yeah, I know. And you see clearly Kenseth out in front as the caution light turns to yellow. That move to get back down. Harvick and Kenseth on the outside had a run, so they were literally going to go by him on both sides. Watch the two. The championship leader somehow avoided getting really torn up in that. He looked like Martin Truex was going to get through there. Bobby Labonte caught him right at the end. Oh, Eric we go. Jones around. Back oh, across man. the field. The big one, part two at Daytona. Yeah, they can't oh. do this. Yeah, he's straight. It saved, and, and they've stabilized or tried to that, that right leg. And we'll continue to follow the story with Kyle Busch. That is being played here. Oh, oh trouble. trouble! Ricky Rudd slamming toward the wall, crashing, rolling over, side over side. Oh. Ricky Rudd. Because of the compression of the air, here you see Rudd's car turning back the wrong way as, the, as it slid. The air got under it, flipped it back the wrong way. I think that it was a blessing that it didn't get into that wall, Ken. It started spinning away from him, just like a bucking horse, going in every kind of a direction. And, of course, Ricky holding on. Ricky Rudd, former Grand National rookie. The Earnhardt down on the inside. That's going to hit. Oh, it got trouble. Terrible crash. Earnhardt. Front of the field, all torn up. Earnhardt's car destroyed. A major crash. At 190 miles an hour. He almost got upside down. That car got very high off the ground. That's Ward Burton there. You can see the. And they're going to they're going to cut him out of the car. And Earnhardt is on his feet. Dale Earnhardt attempting to walk to the ambulance. Never, never doubt that cliche about Dale Earnhardt, one tough customer, gives the thumbs up as he walks away from one of the worst incidents in his racing career. Well, you can see Earnhardt is leading. Ernie Urban trying to pass the four car of Sterling Marlin, touches him, shoots the left front of Marlin's car down into Earnhardt, Earnhardt into the wall, and then since they were at the front of the pack, lots of other cars came along and got involved. Earnhardt rolling over in that incident. Another angle. Boy, as close as it is, you see Earnhardt's car gets upside down and gets hit there by, Bo Ro uh, by a That's Robert Presley. That's Robert Presley in the 33 got into Earnhardt when he was upside down there. But Cope was the first one, got him in the roof. Derek Cope in that 12 tangled with him as well.